It is no longer news that the State High Court in Anambra has sentenced the former branch manager of First City Monument Bank, FCMB, Mwachuku Plesidos, to 121 years imprisonment for tampering with a client's servants. But EFCC, in the course of their investigation, arrested and arraigned the complainer, Edemini Microfinance Bank Managing Director, Nyewi Ohayomunam Chineri, the then head of internal audit, Embusi Chimenam, and also the then head of credit and marketing, Nkeru Okeke. EFCC, in the count charge preferred against the three former bankers of Edemini NFB, accused them of adding Mwachuku Plesidos in committing the fraud as a result of their failure to carry out their duties in line with banking practices, principles, and procedures. The three former bankers were arraigned alongside with Mwachiku Placidus on March 27, 2018 before a state high court in Onicha area of Anambra State and the court granted them done with the sum of 1 million nairas each with one surety who must be a civil servant of not less than salary grade level 14. Mwachiku Placidus who was first arraigned before a federal high court in Oka, the Anambra State capital with 10 count charge on November 24, 2016, was later arraigned alongside the three former bankers of Idemili MFB with expanded count charge of 12 before a state high court in Onicha on March 27, 2018. The court's decision on the three former bankers of the Demini MFB is yet to be ascertained but EFCC in a news release few days ago announced that the court has sentenced the Wachiku Placidos to 121 years imprisonment for tempering with the Demini MFB fixed deposit savings. The EFCC news release reads in quote, Justice S. N. Only of the Anambra State High Court sitting in Onicha, Anambra State, has convicted and sentenced a former manager with First City Monument Bank, FCMB, on each branch, Mwachiku Placidos, to a cumulative 121 years imprisonment for diverting fixed deposit funds of a customer to the tune of 112 million, 100,000 naira only for his personal use. He was arraigned on Tuesday, March 27, 2018 on 16 count charges bordering on forgery, stealing, obtaining by false pretense and uttering, by the Enugu Zonal Command of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. One of the counts reads, Mwachiku Placidos between February 2009 and November 2014 in Onicha, an Anambra State within the jurisdiction of the Anambra State High Court of Nigeria with intent to defraud obtained the sum of 112 million, 100,000 naira only, from the Nemini Microfinance Bank under the false pretense that you have placed the said money in a fixed deposit account with First City Monument Bank PLC for it, which pretends you need to be false and you thereby committed an offense. He pleaded not guilty to the charges when they were read to him, thus setting the stage for his trial. In the course of trial, the EFCC, through its counsel, Memphis Agaka Eku presented four witnesses and tendered several relevant documents which were admitted in evidence. In his judgment, Justice Obili held that the prosecution proved its case beyond reasonable doubt and sentenced the convict to nine years imprisonment on count three, four years on count four and nine years on counts five to sixteen respectively. He was discharged on counts one and two. The sentences shall run concurrently. The court further ordered the convict to restitute the said sum to his victim, Edemini Microfinance Bank. Placidus journey to the correctional center began when a petitioner, Edemini Microfinance Bank Limited, alleged that the sum of 112 nairas, 100,000 was handed over to him as the branch manager of FCMB in Onicha, for fixed deposit. However, when the petitioner approached the bank to terminate and withdraw, the deposit, the bank denied receiving the said funds. Upon receipt of the petition, the EFCC swung into action and investigations revealed that the convict diverted the money for his own use and issued a fake fixed deposit certificate to the petitioner. EFCC had on March 27, 2018 also reported that the Enugu Zonal Office of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC on Tuesday, March 27, 2018 arraigned four bankers on a 12 count charge of stealing, conversion and obtaining by false pretenses to a sum of 129 million naira only. One of the four bankers who were arraigned before Justice Ike Abu of the State High Court, Onicha, Anambra State were Mwachiku Placidos, a former manager of First City Monument Bank Limited, Onicha branch. Three former bankers with the Denny Microfinance Bank Limited were Minui Ohayo Munamchineri, Embosi Chimenam and Ikeru Okeke. They were managing director, internal auditor, head of credit and marketing respectively. The first defendant, Umachiku Placidus according to petition received by the commission, diverted funds received from Idemili Microfinance Bank meant to be placed as fixed deposit to his personal accounts. Further investigation revealed that given his personal unfavorable involvement in the forex businesses, he diverted most of the monies meant for fixed deposits while claiming they were severally wrong over and had presented forged fixed deposit certificates to cover his tracks. The co defendants had at several periods and on different capacities as managing director, internal auditor, head of credit and marketing respectively not only facilitated the said deposits but were found to have all negated official ethics of banking in handling the case by not fully adhering to known banking procedures. Their non-compliance and unresponsive attitude epitomized by no availability of instruments pertaining to the transaction on the fixed deposits was seen by the petitioner as their being complicit in the fraud. All the defendants pleaded not guilty to the charges. The prosecution counsel, Memphis Adaka, said he was just served at the court premises with motion for bail applications for the accused persons by their counsels. Counsel to the first accused, 
C.L. Ndukaye pleaded that his client be allowed to continue enjoying the bill earlier granted to him by the Federal High Court. Occur on a similar case while trying to perfect the incumbent bill if granted, a request that was rejected by the judge. The judge having listened to counsel to the other defendants, granted bill on different conditions to them as follows. The first defendant was to produce two shorties and the sum of two million naira in like sum with the shorties residing within the jurisdiction of the court. He further directed that the must have landed properties and must deposit two copies of their recent passport photographs alongside that of the defendant. The second, third and fourth defendants were respectively granted bail in the sum of one million naira and one surety each who must be a civil servant of not less than grade level 14 and who must also reside within the jurisdiction of the court. The case has been adjourned to June 14th, July 16th, October 15th, November 7th and December 6th, 2018 respectively for hearing. Earlier at the Federal High Court, EFCC also reported on November 25, 2016 that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, on Thursday, November 24, 2016, arraigned one who was placed on a 10 count charge that borders on fraud and falsification of First City Monument Bank Certificate of Investment before Honorable Justice I.B. Gaffey of the Federal High Court, Oka in Anambra State. When the charge was raised to the accused person, he pleaded not guilty to the 10 count charge preferred against him by the EFCC. In view of his plea, the defense counsel Barista D. M. Esayali immediately prayed the court to grant the accused bail, but the prosecuting counsel, Barista S. M. H. Ibekut Esquire, vehemently opposed the bail application and hinged his argument on the fact that the accused person already has a police record hanging on his neck and as such might become elusive and stole his trial. After listening to both counsels, the court, however, granted the defendant bail in two shorties which must not be below grade level 14 in the civil service and must be verified by both the health of service and the court registrar. The case was then adjourned to January 25, 2017, for commencement of trial. Bring the news in a more digital way.